Hi! In this video, let's take a look at the microwave leakage from a household microwave on my HP 8566B Spectrum Analyzer. Here I have an old, sharp, branded microwave removed from my kitchen. We bought a new microwave to replace this 20-year-old one a while ago, and of course, I will salvage electronics inside before tossing the case away. This microwave has a beautiful vacuum fluorescent display, and I definitely can use that for another project. So as you can see here, it's in, uh, very nice, and I definitely can use that. Anyway, even though the microwave cavity is a Faraday cage, in reality there will always be some microwave leaking out of this case. As uh, the absorption effectiveness is determined by the metal case's conductivity, uh, permeability, and thickness, we can't make the case uh, too thick since we have to balance out the cost, the weight, and the uh, aesthetics. We have to have a meshed screen so we can see through the door, for example. And here in the US, FDA mandates a maximum of 5 milliwatts of microwave radiation per square centimeter at approximately 5 centimeters from the surface of the oven. This figure is uh, directly taken from Wikipedia. So there are a lot of commercial products for testing the microwave leakage, and there are many videos out there demonstrating that. And the benefit of using a spectrum analyzer is that we can not only see the signal strength, but also see the frequency distribution. And here's the setup. So we have an antenna uh, input into the uh, spectrum analyzer, and uh, this antenna basically just say, I think it's a little bit less than the wavelength, and uh, the, the actual length doesn't really matter, as we just want to see, uh, we just want to pick up the uh, signal. We don't really care about the uh, quantitative measurement. So without further waiting, let's uh, turn on the spectrum analyzer. And for commercial and residential microwaves, the modern ones are all operating at around 2.45 uh, gigahertz. So we want to set the central, uh, the central frequency to 2.45 gigahertz. By the way, uh, you can see the, uh, the, the reference on lock uh, currently is uh, flickering. That's because I just powered it on and the oven hasn't uh, uh, been up to temperature yet but in a while it will go off. So right now, the frequency span is at 900 megahertz. Let's uh, reduce it to 200 megahertz. And you will notice that even though I haven't done anything yet, there are some uh, spurious uh, signal. That's because my uh, Wi-Fi signal at home, because Wi-Fi also operates in that frequency band. So this gonna kind of uh, distort our result a little bit, but uh, nevertheless, you will be able to see the effect of microwave uh, radiation leaking from the microwave oven. And once I start the, uh, the microwave. So now let's uh, set the microwave for 10 seconds and uh, well, for 15 seconds, I already put some water in there so it doesn't uh, overheat and destroy the uh, elements. So let's uh, start and see if we can see anything on the screen. And as you can see, we can see a lot of, a lot of uh, spectral elements popping up. And these are due to the uh, microwave uh, operating. And some of the lower ones are the Wi-Fi signal. So to see that better, what we can do is we can uh, press the max hold. Okay, so now you're gonna see uh, these frequency bands are occupied by the, um, by the Wi-Fi. And we'll ignore that. Let's put it for 15 more seconds. Actually, let's do uh, 20 more seconds to get a better uh, power. So now this, uh, by the way, this has stabilized because that's just the, uh, uh, the Wi-Fi signal. Now let's uh, start our microwave again. And then we'll see that the frequency start, the spectrum started to build up. And now you can see the general shape of 
the radiation here. It's uh, centered around 2.45 and with a uh, bandwidth of roughly that uh, we have uh, 20 megahertz per division. So we roughly occupy about uh, two division, 40 megahertz. That's where the uh, uh, the main energy of this microwave is, cent is centered at. Now, as you can see here, we have this uh, antenna uh, kind of uh, about uh, one inch from the uh, the screen of the microwave. So actually, the, the it's leaking directly through the mesh to the antenna, and the antenna picks it up and displayed on the spectral analyzer. Now, of course, you don't have to use a spectral analyzer. This is just a fancy way to uh, gather such information. You can also use a something like a uh, RF strength meter, like the one I built before. So here, for example, I have this uh, RF strength meter, and I will also provide the link uh, down below so you can take a look to see that project. But this RF, uh, this meter was actually based on a LT5534 RF power detector chip. And uh, this chip covers up to three gigahertz. So this is uh, well within the range of this uh, uh, chip. So now we can actually use this to, to take a look to see if we can pick up the signal. Okay, so now I put it on here and I'm gonna uh, focus on that uh, meter here. Actually, let me uh, remove that a little bit. So let's uh, put it like that. Maybe, uh, let's see, how do I do this? All right, so let's, uh, like that, okay? And now let me start the microwave again. So let's put it for 20 more seconds and start. And as you can see, uh, let me just block the light back here a little bit. You can see that it definitely picks up the, uh, the signal. So we not only can use, of course, we can always use a, just a field strength meter to pick up the radiation. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this off. So while this, while this is nothing new, uh, everybody kind of knows it, I thought I would just uh, demonstrate using this spectral analyzer to graphically uh, plot the leakage spectrum of the microwave. So as you can see that our signal that we picked up from the spectral analyzer is well below zero dBm. Of course, there's a little bit of conversion between the dBm and the milliwatts uh, per square inch or per square centimeter. And you can look up that conversion on the website and I'm sure you can find it. But uh, nevertheless, uh, this number is basically telling us that it's far less than what the FDA mandates as the maximum microwave radiation uh, from the microwave. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch up with you next time.